By now, you've heard of search engine optimization. It was considered snake oil for a few years. And even non-technical, non-marketing types have now come to understand that SEO matters, even if they don't really know what that means. Even if they think SEO is snake oil. Even if they fall into the don't quite believe SEO is real camp. So let's talk now about the last word on SEO. Search engine optimization is complicated. It's really complicated. And it didn't used to be. Once upon a just a few years ago, you could rank effectively for the terms that matter to you simply by cramming them into an article a few dozen times. If the word was relatively obscure, that continued, even continues to be true. And if you want proof, take a look at our ranking for US patent number 7669123 using just the number. Then ask yourself whether there's any good reason for us to have that kind of ranking for a string of digits. But things have changed, and SEO is now a complex formula. Mm, well, not exactly. The last word on SEO is that it isn't so much a formula as the intersection of a series of formulas, and that even Google doesn't really understand SEO. So the complex part is correct, but the formula part? Yeah, not so much. Bringing us back to Google and that last word on SEO. The next version of Google Penguin is coming soon. Penguin, like panda, hummingbird, coffee, and a few other small words with big meaning in the Googleverse, is one part of the search engine optimization formula, and it hasn't been updated in quite a while. Presumably, this means that once the Google Penguin update finally rolls out, SEO types will say the sky is falling. We've seen that before. And it doesn't matter. The next squawk of the penguin will have an impact on your search engine optimization. You may do better or worse, or you may not notice. And that's why we're calling this piece the last word on SEO. Penguin doesn't matter. Neither does anything else you can name easily and implement a strategy against or not at all. What matters is that you keep producing content and that Google, in the broadest sense, thinks that content is worth reading. This is why we stopped selling SEO services a while back. We do SEO, we teach SEO, we preach SEO, but SEO as a standalone practice is not meaningful. And that particular last word on SEO is one that Google's been talking about for several years, Facebook too. When it comes to parsing Google's rules, the only rule that matters is to keep on creating. How sure of that are we? This sure. Look again at the example above of our rank for that number 7669123. The surprise isn't that we still rank almost six years later so highly for obscure a search term as this, because who's trying to beat us? Now, here's the other non-surprise. Our overall website traffic is up in the last two months by about 25%. And why? Because our new content activity increased noticeably in that time frame. That's right, for a while, we'd stopped drinking our own Kool-Aid, and once we restarted, our traffic climbed dramatically and immediately. That's not a formula, it's an idea. It is truly the last word on SEO, and the last words of this article, unless you'd like to talk about it some more. I'm The Answer Guy, and I'll be back.